Hi, I'm Tim O'Reilly. I'm the founder and CEO of O'Reilly Media. If you've followed my career, you know I'm something of a storm chaser. I love the kind of excitement that happens when people are following their passions and changing the world. Uh, I watched this happen with the beginnings of the World Wide Web. Uh, I watched it with open source software. I saw it with the renaissance of, of the web as Web 2.0 after the dot-com bust. I watched it uh, now bubbling up in a new surprising area, and that is a passion to remake America through building a new generation of software that uh, actually helps our governments and our citizens to work together to make our country actually work for us. I think there are some particularly interesting opportunities at the local level, because ultimately uh, where all of us citizens intersect with our government is where we live. It's not happening in Washington, it's happening in our cities. And that's one reason that I decided to join the board of a new organization called Code for America. So Jen, tell us a little bit about Code for America, what the program is, what the fellows do. So Code for America is really designed as a way for the web industry to be able to give back and help rebuild our country. It's loosely based on Teach for America. We recruit top talent from the web industry to come help build applications that we think will help make cities better. Um, and they do so in the course of a 10-month program uh, where we support them and bring in mentors and speakers and help them succeed in this effort of um, helping our cities use technology in a new and interesting and exciting ways. Uh, how did you choose the five cities in the pilot program? They came to the table with some great ideas for software that really can help improve the way that the city functions and how the citizens can live within the city. They also have supportive administrations with really, you know, a vision for how this can work. And the projects that they proposed, we think, can really be reused by other cities when they're finished. That's a really important part of the program. We want to build it locally and then spread them nationally. I understand the fellows uh, only get a stipend. Is there more that will make somebody want to go do this? That's true. We're not going to pay the, the fellows very much. It's a living wage, um, but we're hoping that people will apply because they really want to make a difference. Um, there's a huge opportunity here to have something that you build be used by citizens immediately the first year and really not just make a difference for the citizens, but make the city work better. Um, we're also supporting our fellows through great mentorships, great networking with the top names in Silicon Valley and government. Um, and we're giving them the opportunity to, when they're done with this program, to launch a career in public service or in entrepreneurship, um, but really have, have made a big difference and really be able to go on to whatever they want to do. Every new movement needs heroes, and the first generation of Code for America fellows are going to be in the spotlight. If you believe that technology can make a difference, and you want to make a difference, support Code for America.